Rule it. What you need. If you're looking for authentic synth sounds, you know Roland has got what you need. New for 2002 is the SH32 Synthesizer, a powerful analog-style synth with a programmable arpeggiator and tons of knobs and sliders for those who live to tweak. This little beauty delivers a full spectrum of supercharged synth sounds, each with distinctive character. Even better, the SH32 shatters the low polyphony limitation common in today's DSP synths with up to 32 voice polyphony and four multi-timbral parts. It even includes four classic TR rhythm kits and 35 insert effects from mild to wild. The compact, affordable SH32 synthesizer. Big sound at a small price. It's what you want, love, and need. How are you doing? This is the uh, Roland SH32, a new analog style synthesizer. It's basically a 32 note polyphonic synth with four part multi timbral operation, uh, and it comes in at an incredible list price of $595. Uh, can do a, produce a, a variety of sounds from analog style stuff like the old Junos did to digital noises, thanks to uh, 67 waveforms, including Spectrum. Uh, what I'd like to start by doing is showing you a little sequence that I prepared that uh, gives you a sampling of what this box is capable of. Um, and I'll preface this by letting you know that everything I did um, was created using the arpeggiator on the SH32. It's a very cool function, as, as I'll show you later. So keep in mind that all the drums, every noise you hear, is live from this box. All right, here we go. What I want to t tell you about now is the arpeggiator, which, which is what you heard in that song. Every single drum beat that you heard, every single motif or riff that you heard was created with the variable arpeggiator. Um, it's fully programmable up to 32 steps, but there's 64 arpeggio patterns built in. So I can start off with a sound like this. Switch on the arpeggiator. I'm getting cool motifs, which you heard at the beginning of the track. Now, what's really cool about this arpeggiator is that there is a chord memory function built into the SH32. So if you're not a keyboard player, you're going to be able to get automatic chords just by hitting one finger. So if I uh, turn off the arpeggiator for a second, turn on chord memory, and I play a key, I'm going to get this. Now, we can step through different chord forms automatically just by pressing a button. Listen. Now what's really sick is when you combine chord memory with the arpeggiator and you're gonna get some really interesting results. So again, start with an arpeggio which I showed you earlier like this. It's pretty basic, nothing really exciting, right? Turn on chord memory and we get this. As you can see, with the arpeggiator and chord memory, you can create motifs and rhythms that will really inspire your creativity. So whether you're a keyboard player or even a pro, you're going to get something out of this feature. Now, uh, what I'd like to do now is just take you through some patches on this guy and just give you an idea of, of what kind of sounds this box is capable of. Again, the focus is analog sounds, and that's why we have all these knobs and sliders so that you can program things uh, to your heart's content. This is just a basic uh, TB-303 kind of sound. <coughs> Cool. We can also do oscillator sync, like the old Prophet 5 and some of the old analog synths, like this. Very nice. I'm going to change my clock back to internal. 
and we could also get really cool fat JP8000 kind of pads with some cool tempo sync stuff going on. Like that. Because everything synchronizes to MIDI clock, including the LFOs, the arpeggiator, and the effects, it's very easy to integrate the SH32 into your MIDI productions with software and things like that. Another cool sound is ring mod. Gives you some clangy digital noises that you wouldn't normally get with an analog only synthesizer. But there's juicy fat stuff too, like this. Deep bass sounds thanks to a sub oscillator, which was first featured in products like the Juno 60 and the 106. But it can be juicy as well, like a mini Moog. If you want smooth for like hip hop and R&B kind of tracks, we got wormy leads. So that's the essence of this piece. I mean, basically we've got 32 note polyphony, uh, four part multi-timbral operation, onboard drums, at a very incredible price of $595. Thanks a lot. <laughs>